The Premier League is the hardest league in the world and going unbeaten is a feat only ever completed by Arsene Wenger. But today that changes as I'm going to go 38 games without losing to join that exclusive list. So straight away I started FIFA creating my manager and now it was time to choose a team that will help us go undefeated. This was a very tough choice, we needed the right team to help us go undefeated, it was going to be between Liverpool, United or City, but at the end, I went for Manchester City. But now, it was time to start our difficult journey here with Manchester City to not lose a single game. We have 38 Premier League games, not a single one can be a loss, if not, we fail the challenge. But straight away, looking at this team, our possibilities already go up, however, we still needed to make a couple signings like a backup right back and a brand new starting winger. So then I decided to sign Dutch international Jeremy Frinkpong from Leverkusen for 36.5 million and Rafael Leal from AC Milan for 71.5 million. And now with the new signings in the squad, the team was looking very good, looking like we could actually play a season without losing as long as we do not lose a single player. To go ahead and test this brand new team, we have a Community Shield game against Liverpool. If we can't beat Liverpool in the Community Shield, there's no way. We go undefeated in the Premier League season and we lose. No. We cannot have this during the Premier League season. But straight after that loss against Liverpool, we had to brush it off as we had to start our journey against Bournemouth away from home. Let's see if we can get off on the right foot. And get off on the right foot, exactly it was going to be. Roger. Rodri does find KDB, KDB, it's Bernardo Silva, through ball, it's Erling Haaland, can he get the first goal of this club, and yes he does, the first goal of the season is scored by Erling Haaland, that is huge. So Haaland's goal was enough to give us our first victory of the season, he is going to be a very important player if we ever want to go unbeaten in the Premier League. After that victory against Bournemouth, the good form continued as Erling Haaland picked up two more goals for another three points, however, up next, we had our first tough test against Chelsea at the bridge. However, there was really nothing to worry about. Leo picks up his first goal, Haaland picks up a second, and we can see the penalty to Aubameyang, but we still pick up a 2-1 victory. Undefeated stays intact. After that Chelsea victory, I started to get more confident and started to sim a couple games, picking up a 3-1 victory against Brighton and Nottingham Forest each, but then against Southampton, we can see it in the 13th minute. So I had to go ahead and jump in and possibly save the day. Saving the day, however, was relatively easy when you had the best striker in the world in Erling Haaland as he picked up two goals to give us a three points. However, we have to be a little bit more careful if we do not want to lose a single game this season. But up next, we had second place West Ham, so I decided to go ahead and play it at home. However, it was just another pushover game as KDB puts away a penalty and Erling Haaland scores the finisher and we win 2-0. And just like that, seven games, seven victories and this team is in amazing form. Hopefully, nothing goes wrong. There is absolutely no way. Kevin De Bruyne had a release clause? He's joining Bayern Munich in January for 7 million. When did he have a release clause? However, even though we're losing our captain, we have to soldier on and hopefully in January, we find an amazing replacement, a brand new leader to help and replace Kevin De Bruyne in order to help us reach our goals. However, in this next game against Arsenal, that bad news really affected us as Gabriel Jesus picks up a goal to put us behind for the first time this season. We had to turn this around. However, in the 65th minute, we call upon our new signing to save us to make it 1-1 and we had one final opportunity. In the 90th minute, we're going to score to win this game and no, we miss, we pick up a draw. However, our undefeated streak is still intact. And after that Arsenal win, we saved against Fulham where this happened. Oh my god. How do we only pick up a 1-0 victory against Fulham? I have to be more careful. After those two warning signs against Arsenal and Fulham, I stayed arrogant and began to sim this game against Everton and once again, we conceded in the 30th minute, so we had to go ahead and try and jump in and save the day. However, saving the day against Everton wasn't the easiest thing in the world, but in the 89th minute, we had one last opportunity to go ahead and save our streak. Erling Haaland with the ball. Erling, he loses it. No, please get it back. Okay, Haaland, is it to Silva? Through ball to Leo. Leo, please, please score this. Save our streak in the 90th minute. Rafael Leo, the new signing, he scores it. He puts it away. Our streak stays in. Attack. Oh my god, we need to be more careful throughout the rest of the season if we want to remain unbeaten. And now 10 games into the Premier League season, 26 points, still zero losses. But up next, we have Liverpool, the team we lost to in the Community Shield. If there's any team that is going to take us down, it's gonna be them. However, this game was very interesting to say the least. Can you give it to Bernardo Silva with a shot? It goes in. We take a lead in probably the most important game of the season so far, 1-0 against Liverpool. And now it's a through ball into Erling Haaland. Can we make it 2-0 in the 11th minute and he shoots and he puts it away. We're getting our payback against Liverpool who beat us earlier in the season. And now it's Thiago. Here comes Liverpool with the free kick. James Madison with a shot and it goes in. It's 2-2. If they score one more goal, we fail our challenge. We cannot let that happen. Mohamed Salah on the penalty. 
He's gonna miss it. Please, Ederson, save it this time. Mohamed Salah goes to the right. Ederson saves us. The ref blows the whistle. It's a 2 2 draw. Not the ideal result. But in this video, not only do we wanna be unbeaten, but we also wanna be Arsenal's record of that season where they picked up 26 wins and 12 draws. And recently, we have picked up three draws back to back. And if we ever wanna beat that record and even not lose a single game, we have to pick up our form. And after setting that second goal to this challenge, we started to pick up victories against Villa, Newcastle, Leeds United, and Brentford. We are now at the top of the table with 12 wins, 3 draws, and not only that, but Erling Haaland had 18 goals. He is definitely helping us reach that goal. However, up next, we had a match to Derby, and we only had one opportunity, but Erling Haaland couldn't score it, and it ends up in a no-no draw. Once again, another draw for this team. But we then picked up two victories against Wolves and Leicester City but had no rest as we had another tough test against Tottenham Hotspur. Hopefully this one doesn't end in a draw. We started this game with an early chance from Erling Haaland which he missed but then he puts one away later to make it 1-0. But then sadly, Hume Son puts an equalizer and the ref was a whistle for a 1-1 draw. This team needs to start performing and winning more games. We then had one final game before January against Everton which was a 3-0 victory through the same. But now it was time for the perfect replacement for Kevin De Bruyne who is now leaving for Bayern Munich. But there it is, Kevin De Bruyne our captain is leaving the club. So we now had to find a player who fit our requirements, a leader and an attacking midfielder. So I decided to go for another captain here in the Premier League in Martin Odegaard which we signed for 64 million, the perfect replacement. But after that signing of Martin Odegaard, we checked the league table, we now had 20 games played, 15 wins, 5 draws and 50 points still undefeated and on track on beating Arsenal's record. So we then set this game against Fulham where we picked up a 2-1 victory and up next we had the return of Manchester United at home. However this time I started to sim the game and of course I never learned my lesson as Cristiano Ronaldo puts away a goal in the 18th minute meaning we had to try and save the day once again. But straight away we had an opportunity to equalize the game but Erling Haaland couldn't finish it but it is Erling Haaland and literally 2 minutes later he scored a goal to equalize his game. And then with a stroke of luck this happened. What just happened, bro? <laughs> oh my god, that's crazy. And then literally, in stoppage time, our dreams were about to be crushed. Hey, Sancho on the ball. Jenny Sancho into Bruno Fernandes and we concede. We're about to win this game. Our streak is still alive because we're drawing. But we do not want to draw against these big teams. We do not want to draw at all. And then literally, in stoppage time, our dreams were about to be crushed. It's Bruno Fernandes on the ball now. Does find Cristiano. Cristiano into Anthony. Anthony is through. He has a shot. And it goes wide. We're fine. We almost lost the game. We need to pick up our form. This cannot be happening, bro. We then had another close call in a sim against Brentford where we pick up a 1-0 victory. But of course, I wasn't going to learn my lesson. As we started to sim this tough game against Tottenham Hotspur and we concede. When am I going to learn, bro? However, this time around, I became more focused and well, this happened. But Foden, let's go. He's equalized the game. We're going to stay unbeaten this season. Now Phil Foden crosses it in. It's Rafael Leal. They clear it out. Haaland, please put it away. Erling Haaland. Let's go. He puts it away in the 89th minute. We pick up the victory, securing that unbeaten streak. And then the ref blows the whistle. We pick up a victory for the first time in a while against a big side. We then send the next three games where we drew against Villa and won against Nottingham and Southampton. But up next, we had another tough test against Liverpool. So we had to play against Liverpool, which we have already lost to in the Community Shield and drawn against in the first half of the season. Hopefully, they are not the ones to ruin our streak and ruin our goal. And it took all the way to the 70th minute for the first real chance as Gundogan gives it to Haaland, who makes it 1-0. However, this happened next. In the 82nd minute, Liverpool have a penalty if they score we can still draw this game but ideally we want to win to be Arsenal's record and it's Mohamed Salah and he puts it away it's gonna be a 1-1 draw we have to live with that the ref blows a whistle it's a 1-1 draw we bottle it once again against Liverpool still yet to beat them this season however after that Liverpool draw we were now 28 games into this season 20 victories, 8 draws, still 0 losses, that means we only need 7 more victories in order to beat the record, but we cannot draw more than 4 games, if not, we cannot beat Arsenal's record. However, despite that last draw to Liverpool, I decided to send the next games, and to be honest, they all went pretty well as we won every single game, including beating the likes of Arsenal along the way. And we were now 34 games into the league season, only 4 games to go, and we have drawn Arsenal in wins, so we only need one more victory in these next 4 games in order to beat it. However, I decided to send the next 2 games, and we just couldn't pick up a victory, drawing to both Newcastle and West Ham. But in the second to last game, we have Brighton, surely we're gonna win this game, surely we're gonna beat Arsenal's record in this game, we're gonna go ahead and send it, and we pick up a nil no draw that means we only have one game left even though we have the title one we have one game left in order to be arsenal's record but it was time for the final game of the season we still need to win or draw this game in order to remain unbeaten but we want to win to beat 
Arsenal's 26 game win record. Here goes Bernardo Silva on the run. We're looking for that first goal. We need to win this game to break Arsenal's records. Bernardo Silva through ball. It's your Erling Haaland. Can we go ahead and score this? It's still Erling. Erling Haaland's on the ball. Gives it to Gundogan. Through ball. It's a Real Mahrez with a shot. And he puts it away. If we keep it like this, if the score stays the same, we'll win the Premier League, obviously. But we'll defeat Arsenal's record and complete the video by staying undefeated. But the ref blows away, so we remain undefeated. We become the new invincibles of the Premier League. Not only that, but doing it better than Arsenal did a couple years back. But here we go. We're about to lift the trophy as invincibles. I wish the trophy was gold, but Akanji lifts the trophy and we go invincible. But here you go. 38 games played, 27 wins, and 11 draws. We have an invincible season and destroyed Arsenal's record of 26 victories. If you enjoyed this video, you guys will definitely enjoy me becoming the best manager in the world.